Hey everybody, it's Hyman with Engineered Comfort Heating, Venting, and Air Conditioning out of Fort Worth, Texas. And today I'm going to make a small video and teach you guys how to properly test a dual capacitor. This is something that you would normally find on your outside condensing unit and if bad could possibly keep your compressor and or fan motor from coming on, which would be bad for your comfort. It's really easy to test. All you need is a voltmeter that has the MFD setting, microfarads, which test capacitors and you can test any capacitor. I'll show you how to see what size your capacitor is and where to place the leads to properly test it. So stay tuned. First things first, you're going to want to ensure that you have your voltmeter set to MFD, which is for microfarads, which is for testing capacitors. Once you've done that, then you're ready to move on to the next step. Next thing you're going to want to do is check the literature on your capacitor to see what size it is. In this case, we're working with a 60 over 5 440, as you can see right at the very top, 60 plus 5. On the top of the of the top of the capacitor, you're going to have three prongs. You're going to have the hermetic, which normally has three teeth. You're going to have the common, which will normally have four teeth. And then you will have the fan, which normally has one tooth. And sometimes it says it on the side, as you can see here, herm, fan, and then common. So first things first, to check your compressor side, you're going to want to put one of your leads on common and one of your leads on hermetic. And then you should get a reading on your voltmeter. Let's check that out. Okay, by placing one lead on the common and one lead on the hermetic, I'm getting a reading of 60.5, which is actually perfect because we are working with a 60. All right, let's check the fan side. To check the fan side, I'm going to have to put the lead on the common and put another lead on the fan side itself, and I should get 5 because that's what it is and 4.99 is almost right on because this capacitor's tolerance allows plus or minus 3%. So we have a perfectly good capacitor. And that my friends is how you properly test a dual capacitor from an outside condensing unit or any capacitor for that matter with the voltmeter in the MFD settings. Pretty simple wasn't it? I'm Hyman with Engineered Comfort Heating, Venting, and Air Conditioning out of Fort Worth, Texas, where we not only provide and protect your comfort, we engineer it. You guys have a beautiful day.